In this video I'm going to show you how to make good thumbnails using Canva. I'll show you how to turn this flat thumbnail into a thumbnail that really pops out and grabs people's attention. So if this is something you want to learn about, sit back, relax and let's get straight into it. I'll be using a pro version of Canva which I highly recommend. I'll put a link to it in the description but you can easily create a variation of this using the free version. So the font I used is called Chewy and this is a free font that you can apply this to. So the technique I'm going to show you today makes the text just pop out and it's a 3D floating text effect. As you can see there's a drop shadow there's some depth to the characters and then there's a white middle which helps it stand out and you can apply that to different fonts. So this works using three layers. I've got my base layer with a drop shadow. I've got a second layer which will go on top to give it 3D effect. And then I've got my top layer which I'll add an effect to called splice and that will just help it pop out. And then all I'm doing is just putting one on top of the other like this and like this you can adjust it with your arrow keys to get it like that and then once you zoom in you can really see that the text is almost like a 3d cartoon font effect so i'll show you how i can do that let me open up a new canvas what i'll do is open up a new page here if you're new to canva you just create a new template search for youtube thumbnail and it will give you the correct dimensions i'll select the page and then i'll click t on my keyboard for the text shortcut and this will bring up the text what i'll do is press b now i'll just drag the sides to make it larger and then drag it back in the middle now you can select the font here i've selected chewy so what i'll do is now change the color to a dark blue and now I'll click on effects and add a shadow as you can see a shadow gets added here I'll change the color of the shadow to a black I'll just go back into that now you can play with the offset to change how far away it is from the text the direction here I'm just going to put it almost 45 degrees diagonally to the bottom right. Increase the blur because it is a shadow. So what I'm going to do is just take the blur down to say a 44 and then increase the transparency because I want to make it quite dark. So I'll have the transparency around here. Now this is our base layer. What I'm going to do is select that. Control C and Control V to copy and paste that. If you're on a Mac, you can do Command C and Command V. Place that just over the top. I'm going to remove the effect. So it removes the drop shadow and I'm going to change the color to a lighter blue. So I'm going to use that blue here. So if we just zoom in, you'll be able to see it there. Now what I'll do is I'll just position it over the top, just diagonally to the right so it looks like it's all one unit okay let me zoom out now i'm going to add my third layer so i'm going to copy and paste that what i'll do with this layer is i'm going to add a splice effect to it so what i'll do is i'll make the text black because the outline will be black click on effects click on splice and now change the color of the splice to white so now the middle is white I'll move that over but as you can see the white is just offset so I'm going to remove the offset here so it's in the middle now if you place it over you wouldn't be able to see the second layer so to get the effect I'm after I just shrink the slot shrink the size slightly like that and then nest it on top I'm going to shrink it slightly more and then place that just on top you can play around with the sizes and the settings so this is the reason I'm doing it 
letter by letter instead of a whole word because if you shrink the top layer it won't line up with the rest of the word so I'm just doing it like this to adjust it okay that looks okay to me so there you go you've essentially made one letter now what I do is the long part of the equation is you have to copy and paste this and then do that for every single letter to make up a word so what I'll do is I'll separate the layers I'll double click on that change it to S double click on the second one change that to S I'll double click on the third one and change that to S as well so now I'm going to move that to the front so that's my bottom layer that's my second layer and that's my third layer you see with the s it does need a slight adjustment while editing this video i realized i created a lowercase s and i'm trying to place it on top of two uppercase s's which is why it doesn't line up exactly and i'm trying to resize it here to make it fit but it doesn't i corrected it later on but what i'll do is create an e for the middle and then place that in there to create my name you can use the arrow keys to fine tune the exact location what I'm going to do just move that over there so there you go that's essentially how I created the text for my thumbnail now if you wanted to select the bottom layer what you can do is hold the control key and then control click until you get to the layer you want so control click I get the middle layer control click I'll get the bottom layer now using the arrow keys I can move the bottom layer if you try to use your mouse you'll reselect the top layer so that's just a little trick for you so now say I wanted to select the middle layer of this B control click now I've got the middle layer selected so what I'm doing is I'm tapping the arrow keys also if you hold the shift key and use the arrow keys you can move it 10 pixels left and right so you can move it a lot faster but I'm fine tuning it just moving it one pixel up or down I'll select that one move that slightly across make that slightly bigger so now what I've done is I've just created text 3d floating text that pops out so you can use that for different fonts to build up this picture so now what I'm going to do is show you how I can remove the background on an image and add an outline around a photograph so what I'll do is I'll move that here I'll go into photos and I'll click on woman winking to find out the photo I used so I'll scroll down you can use any of these this is the one I used so I'll just click and drop that onto the page now if you have Canva Pro click on edit image then click on background remover and it will remove the image after a few seconds and I'll click apply to that now what I can do is make that larger I'll just click and drag that so it fills the whole screen if you don't have Canva Pro what you could use is remove.bg remove.bg and here you can remove image backgrounds 100% automatically and for free just drop it on there it won't be high quality but you can still get your background removed quickly and instantly an alternative is you can also use Photopea and use the selection tool to select a photo and then remove it image from a photo but benefits of having Canva Pro is that I can remove the background instantly within the program without using a third party application now what I'll do is I'll select hold on let's have a look what I want to do is select this image make sure that's selected and not the page is selected click edit image then click on shadows and I'm going to add a glow effect around this person so if you click on it again you can see the settings so what I want to do is reduce the blur to almost nothing I'm going to 
increase the transparency so it's 100 percent transparent and also increase the size and as you can see it's added a black border around the outside what i want to do is change that one to white you won't be able to see it because it's on a white background if i click apply to that for now i'll change the background so you can see what it looks like changing the background is actually removed to that image because this is I didn't want it locked in the background but there is a way to detach this from the background so if you right click here detach image from background that's a tip I just learned a few weeks ago and it's such a lifesaver because whenever you add an image it locks and replaces your background I don't want it to replace my background so what I'll do is I'll reduce the size to make it easily selectable. So now if I click on the background, make it blue, you'll be able to see this image has it. I'm not sure where the border has gone, but I'll quickly show you how to do that again. So I'll click that, edit image, shadows, glow, select the settings, change it to white, Incre decrease the blur, increase the transparency and increase the size. There you go. So now that's added a border around this image. I'll click apply and hopefully that will save. Now what I'll do is I'll deselect the image. So I'm away from the image and that just popped. So I'm hoping that is now saved. So now if I select it again, I'm going to add a second border so I need to do what I just did over again. So I'm going to click glow again. Oh, it's kind of refreshing itself. This is what happens sometimes with Canva. I'm going to click glow and hopefully it will add a second border which it has has done. So now uh, decrease the blur, increase the transparency and increase the size. There you go. So now you can see I've added two shadows around this image. Sometimes you do have to wait for it to lock in and save before adding the next one. So what I'll do is I'll click apply. I'll click away from the image and hopefully that locks in and saves it. It looks to be saved. Oh, there you go. You see it just moved. And that means it's saved now and then I can move that around. So another thing to do to make your text stand out is add a background to the image. So what I'll do is I'll go to photos and then just search for um, sunburst or something along those lines. So if I go to sunburst, you'll see as different images. I'm just trying to draw attention to the image. This is a pro image, but what you can do is just drop it in here and I'll make it larger like that and push it behind the image and behind the text. So something like that. So that's a bit too, there's too much going on. So I'll just drop the transparency slightly so it looks like that so there you go that's essentially how i made the um the thumbnail up here now you can make the letters one by one or you can make them in words once you've done all the letters once it's easier just to copy and paste them into it i've also added a canva logo which you can easily find so i'll just show you how to do that if you go into elements and search for canva a logo will appear here just stick that on if you click C for circle it will generate a circle that's a quick shortcut you don't need to add a border around here you can just add a circle I'll change that to white then push it to the background position backwards make it slightly smaller and what I'll do is I'll use my arrow keys to adjust the position And I'll copy and paste that, make that black, and then put.
push that to the background as well by clicking this position backwards 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 it's not working position backwards backwards one more time there you go it's just taken a while to catch up i've got a lot of tabs open on my browser and i also have a screen recorder running which is probably making it slightly slower but there you go that's how i added a border around an image border around the logo and how i created my 3d text and added a sunburst background so now you have the knowledge to go and create this thumbnail yourself and you also have the knowledge to create these letters now if you want to save time i've gone ahead and created the effect for each letter in the alphabet and i've stuck that in a template for you i've also added a different color so if you wanted a variation of that you also have that so i've gone ahead and created that for you and stuck it in a template which you can download yourself i've created a small template here which explains how to use the letters how to change the colors and how you can copy and paste these onto any artwork yourself i'll put a link to this template in the description so you can go ahead and download that there will be a small price as that helps support the channel and of course time is money hopefully the time saved is valuable to you otherwise if you found this video useful feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.